grief. Hello and welcome to day number 189 of the video diary. And biting back, it's after, just after my birthday weekend. We've got to fight the way through the snow to get to school, which isn't closed, which is understandable because all it is is snow. There's no ice or anything. Oh, igloo. Wow. Like a dog in there. That'd be awesome. What I warm it is. Um, yeah, so we're going down to school now. Got to make it down with my laptop in one piece and my other other bag in one piece. Hopefully, um, we have maths, some C4 stuff that I need to help lovely with as well in freeze, and then I've got freeze to do um, coursework in computing. I've got to do like the testing and stuff for chess, and then also physics and further maths later. Luckily, I haven't got any um, work tonight. I need to catch up on things that I've let slide over the weekend because it's my birthday weekend, so balls to it. So I'll talk to you later because someone's literally right there. Lol. Bloody hell, this is tiring to walk in. <gasps> Top tip though, if you've got not so brilliant shoes, like you haven't got wellies or anything like that, then as you walk, just dig your heel in at the back, increases your coefficient of friction, and then you barely ever slide. I'm not doing it now, there you go. Back, bam, and you can speed walk. So today has been your average Monday, apart from the fact that it snowed today, which basically means that no one can be bothered at school. Um, well, not necessarily can be bothered. Um, my first teacher couldn't get in until later in the afternoon because of the snow. Um, so we had the first lesson off, which means I had four hours of freeze. I then got to my lesson in fourth period to find out that that teacher couldn't get in to do, um, get in to school. And um, then had physics off as well. So basically I had, uh, went in for school for seven and a bit hours and had six of those doing nothing. I could have just come home, but I was doing work. I was coding. I wasn't coding. I was annotating and commenting on chess, which is taking the mic. I'm not going to lie. I want commentating done today. But what's uh, going on? We had then for the maths, which is uh, looked informally. La, brilliant. Else then, father's gone to work, and it's weird now because I should be at work now, or on the way to work, and I would get dressed for work. But I booked holiday, and part of me's thinking, have I booked holiday? Am I really off? I'm just panicking, but I know I've booked it, so I'm fine. Don't worry, don't stress me out. Um, what's going on is, I'm waiting for mother to come home, <laughs> rendering out yesterday's video, uh, waiting for mother to come home to, uh, we're gonna go shopping. Because she t said to me, she says, do you wanna go shopping? I'm like, no. Do you wanna drive? Two shopping, like, well, since you put it like that, so I've said yes, even though the roads are horrific, I'm gonna go for a drive in Mum's car because I'm insured for it now. It's my birthday present, wish to be insured for it. Oh, I want to, I also want to play with Lovely's present, play with Lovely's presents, you know what I mean? Just like toy with them, just use them because they're cool. Yeah, it's cool, mate. I might do it slow mo and then I was, ah, oh, yeah, Lovely gave me the presents for. My birthday yesterday, and there's just like loads of little ones, and they're all so cool. Well, they're not even little actually. They're not even little, but they're, they're really thought like each and every one. One of them we can use together, like we do to play Portal. One we can play together, which is brilliant. Um, one is like a bookmark thing, which is it's a cool. It's a fancy bookmark. That is that is a nice bookmark. I originally just have this one, which my nana got me, but it's getting a bit tatty and old now. So I'm gonna use this nice fancy one when I'm not reading off my Kindle because I read, I've still got this huge ass pile of book. This entire shelf here is to read. I've still got all them to read. And I'm only using my Kindle for when I'm traveling on holiday or now just to test it. Which is why I'm reading the Hitchhiker's Guide. Um, uh, yeah, and then like, oh, it's just, I, t I love Lovely and I love, she, presents were always thoughtful. And father was like, I really like you two. You always seem really grown up and, thoughtful and you always think about each other and stuff and I think oh, and they're really proud you look really proud to be with each other and I'm like yes I am really proud I hope Lovely's really proud I'm assuming she looks it apparently so that's, that's good enough for me I'm gonna put in oh Lovely's mother got me a mini uh, piggy bank thing because I let them know that I had a mint liked wanted a mini and um, I've, I've, I've showed you I've been progressively getting bigger minis Except it went bigger then went smaller again there since Since about a year ago now, so like every birthday thing I'll get something that's a mini just like of a different size or shape and she wrapped it bless her This is lovely's mum. She wrapped it in wrapping paper with minis on with like a little tag on it with minis on and it's beautiful Oh 
It's just it's just a lovely household. They're ever so sweet. They're ever so nice. I'm gonna I'm gonna transfer all these coins in here because it's breaking my wallet being so big with coins into my money bank. Yeah. So now I'll just keep the big coins there and then all the little coins and my lucky uh, cent, one cent in there. And then I can save up and then one day I can open it. It opens at the bottom and then go, oh yeah, look at all these things in there, look, yay. And it'll be all nice and yeah. Much better. They're very useful they are because you never realise once you to like take money out of the bank, you then use it and then you kind of like, you've got coins left over. So you just kind of buy things for no real reason. Just because you've got the money and coins, you just want to get rid of it. And then you don't end up getting rid of it, you just end up collecting loads of smaller coins like pennies and stuff. Which you can put in there and save up and then one day just change it all up into, into bigger money, into bigger nice money. Is that mother? No! But that one is... Let's go shopping. I've never been so excited to go shopping. Isn't that good? Isn't that good? Hopefully the roads aren't as terrifying as they were this morning. Because they're terrifying and all icy and snowy. It's the first time I've ever driven in the dark and on snow and ice. So, yes! And it's the first time I've ever parked in like a multi-storey, not multi-storey, in like a big car park that isn't just empty. I've parked into a bay, but not one with traffic. Mother's there. I just drove here. Wow, he's... I can barely vlog and, vlog and drive. I've only just started driving, but yeah, um, we've just been shopping, went shopping, and um, now Mother's going to go get us some dinner from the uh, Chinese, which is nice. So I'm sat in the car with this light on. Hopefully it's enough to light my face. It feels like I can see the light reflecting off my nose, so it must be some light. Elsewise, for a first time um, driving, it's been pretty, pretty scary, I reckon because the car is a lot different to um, the one I learned to drive in. That's a lot less um, powerful than this. This thing is a like, bit like, uh, go, uh, go, and the brakes, you just touch it and it rips your face off. It's just like, uh, oh my face. And then you, it's a bit nervous. And I look pretty obscure talking to a camera with the light done, so, because people can obviously see in from the thing. There is just enough light, I can see you in the mirror. Um, uh, yeah, the only downside at the moment is mother who sat there like Dip. second gear, third gear, fourth gear, why aren't you in fourth gear? Couldn't go around the corner, oh god. <sighs> it's because I'm used to driving a different car altogether. I'll turn the lights off. Oh, wrong way. Oh my god, turn the light off. There we go. Um, because I'm used to driving another car, a completely different car, with a driving instructor, I drive it, drive this like a pansy apparently. So I need to, need to get faster driving. But it's only because I'm not used to it. Mum's like, no, you've got to get used to driving this. I says, well, why can't I get... You've got to get used to driving this and driving not like a learner. I says, well, why can't I drive this like a learner and then drive it properly? What? Why, is, why, why does it have to be a one-step jump? Hey, hey, That's all I'm asking. <sighs> so, yeah. Does the radio work without the keys on? Lol, JK, I've got the keys. I'm driving. But I could get used to this. It's good fun. It's jolly, jolly, jolly good fun, sir. Um... Yay! People keep texting me while I'm driving as well. I'm going to put this on silent. Alright then, let's just see if a simple power off at the back of this speaker will fix the stereo. Fingers crossed, let's cut it off and leave it off for about 10 minutes, I reckon. While I'm doing programming, though it's on Spotify, though, because I've just turned the music off. Um, it's going to cut everything. Oops, you're in the way, you're always in the way. Gone. Everything. Xbox, surround sound, DVD player, phone. The phone's off. It's blinking, but it's off. It's blinking, thinking, there's no bass, man, there's no bass. Oh, scary. Hopefully it fixes. The computer's realised the internet's gone. Watch it connect to school's Wi-Fi. There's no lights either. You can't even see me. Oh, everything's back to life. The virgin box is off, though, still. They're all just warming up. That's warmed back up. The internet's kicking up. Yes, internet. I can't remember, and I didn't film it, but was that red light on? before I turned it off. I know there was one on the top, definitely, but was this one on here? <sighs> Should we see if it's fixed? Oh, I'm a little bit of a genius, you know. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, that is gonna be over the moon. <sighs> well, anyway, that was an interesting break. All right then, so it is 10 to one. And I'm just wrapping up work now, I think. I've done, you've already been out, so you're not going out again. Um, 
I think I've been doing, I think I've been doing, I've been in computing since I got back from uh, driving with mum. Oh, fine, get out then. Get out. Bye. It's cold, Sid. And I've literally been doing what I've been doing all day, and that's scrolling down my program. Just scrolling down my program, adding in all of this green, which isn't that visible because you can't tell the colours from all the way back here. But all of this green, on the right hand side most of it is, has been filled in and I've been scrolling down here doing it all. And it's taken me literally, literally, about ten hours. Granted some of those were at school and I was talking to people at the same time, but that's literally, I would say, six hours straight doing that, just pure concentration, especially since the majority, the majority of tonight was straight pure concentration. And I have to go through and annotate each line saying, or each section saying this is what it does and this is how it does it etc 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 and it just takes the absolute michael whoa god you're supposed to do it as you go along but you don't know what to when i program i don't know what it's going to be used for later i kind of like plan for it but then i might not necessarily use it so i can't annotate it so i'm paying the price for that and it's okay for people like james who has a 20 page long system but my system's 200 pages long and I need to annotate 200 pages worth of code. Um, I haven't finished it yet, strictly speaking. I have um, only little bits left to do. I've got to do the bits where it renders questions. I've technically done the chess section. I need to do the bits where it's rendering questions tomorrow. And I need to do stuff like queening and the end game screen, which is just quick snappy stuff like that. Um, so I'll do that as soon as I get to school in my free. And then I will do my variable table. I need a table in Word that lists all of my variables and what they're used for and when, which will take about 15 minutes, just a lot of copying and pasting. Um, and then I will start my, let me check. Ah, start TU2, which is basically, um, you copy and paste the algorithm in, then write a slab of text saying what it does and how it does it, which will take a long time as well. So they're the things I've got planned tomorrow. In theory, I want to do um, a big section each day, like the first two tasks I'm doing tomorrow are only quick things so I can't devote a day to them considering this is in for Friday. Um, having said that, I am one of the best off in the class because some people haven't even started programming yet or haven't even finished programming yet and my programming just finished very recently. Um, so chess, it's a big game. It's a big game but it's worth a hell of a lot of marks. So it's all worth it. At the end of the day, Jamesy, even though you're not watching this anyway, I would rather do 750 pages testing chess than I would 20 pages testing snakes and ladders. I went to, like when I went to open day, I went to an open day at Warwick University and they said, oh, have you had experience in programming before then? I was like, oh yeah, okay, well what systems have you made? Um, oh, um, just chess, and they're like, oh, chess, very good, and then walk away. That is, that is why I picked chess, just for that wow factor, just like, shit, he's programmed chess, shit. So otherwise then, today's been pretty damn pro productive. I've been doing that all day. I thought it would take me longer than a day, to be honest. And it has, technically, but I thought I'd get less done. But um, I cut some corners, just a few corners. Um, uh, what else happened? We have literally next to no lessons, though. No work, which was strange. We went down to work when we did the shopping and walking around and everyone was saying hi to me, just like, oh, hey, mum's like, everyone knows you. Oh, I drove the car with mum, which was a bit stressful, to be fair. I don't like... Mum is a passenger, she's not very good. She just gets stressed all the time and just starts. Hey, change gear now. I know when to change it. Leave me alone. You can't drive like this. Oh my. I've already learned to you. And then I come home and I'm doing coursework on the table. Coursework. Important coursework on the table. So, do you have to keep tapping? Jeff, why do you have to keep tapping? I'm like, oh yeah, I'm doing coursework. Says, well, can you just stop for five minutes? So I bring up the virtual keyboard on the screen, board, on the screen and type with my mouse, which is slow compared to my touch typing, which is quite fast. I need an ergonomic keyboard, I think, because it starts to hurt my fingers. Um, it's not like serious pain, don't worry about it yet. Uh, and then I start clicking on the virtual thingy, and she's like, why are you always clicking and tapping? I'm going to bed room. Just get me a desk, how about that? Get, just get me a desk. Give me the little room. Give me the little room back, so I can have it as my own little room. Give me a desk in there. Give me a computer, and I'll sit there all day, and I will work. 
and then you don't have to listen to me tip tapping. And I can have music on, that'd be brilliant. I'd love that. And that takes lovely and lovely slides. Stop getting stressed. Stop getting stressed. We lovely talked about like the holiday of text form. This is talked about the holiday and how we have to start getting things and organising things for it. She's gonna take me clothes shopping one day. I'm just gonna give her my card and just go go on then, buy some stuff. Because I'm useless at buying clothes, as you've witnessed, bear witness to. I've also fixed the speakers. Yeah! Yeah! That's literally all then. What's happening tomorrow? It is another snow day. Hopefully we get a couple more free lessons because I want to do chess or computing, not chess, uh, technically. Um, but we probably won't, so we've got computing first, um, then maths, then computing in the af even afternoon. Afternoon? Then come back home, do some more computing, get as much of it done as out of the way as possible because tomorrow, Wednesday, I'm going to Bath University for an open day. And hopefully I will be able to record some stuff with you. If I can't just openly vlog, then I will record some stuff. Because it's important. Um, it's going to be the thing that helps me decide between one university and another university. So, I'm going to catch you later because it's late and I'm tired. And otherwise I'm going to be dead tomorrow at school. But I won't be because it's me and I'm a pro. Five hours sleep. Get up at six. No, I get up at seven. So that's six hours sleep. Why, why do you complain about six hours sleep? That's that's easy. I'm oh, I normally I'm gonna go. That's a point. I normally go to bed at one, so I normally have six hours sleep. But I'm gonna read. I might read for a bit. I'm in the mood for some reading, but I'm tired. I don't know. What a dilemma, eh? I'll catch you later.